Oh, no way! What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a screen shake in Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro open and this is the clip I'll be using. The part I want to shake is right here. And that is why I've split it. And this is the part where the shot hits and he gets the kill. Now the first thing you need to do is select your video from here and we need to scale this up. So make sure you're right at the start on the keyframe, come to scale and put it up. Not too much, say maybe 110, 111 and that is good enough. Now the reason for this is because when we start to move it around it would have black bars but if, since we've scaled it and zoomed it in there'll be no black bars. So coming right to the start here, we're now going to select the keyframe on position. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come across maybe five keyframes by pressing this button right here. Alternatively, you can press the right arrow key on your keyboard. So one, two, three, four, five. And then from here, maybe you can move this uh, and you can see the clip goes up and we can move this to the right. And as you can see, that makes it go left. So our first keyframe will make this go to the top left. Then we're going to come across another five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we can do this maybe the bottom right. So complete the opposite. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And this is basically it. You're just going to have to keep going like this. You choose uh, where this thing goes. And make sure it's not always in the same position. Otherwise, it'll look very repetitive and it'll be really easy to see. So for example, I could go back to the top right now, but I'm going to the top left, I mean, but I'm going to go to the top right. And yeah, this is all you have to do, and I'll be back to you when I've done this. As you can see, I'm now on the last keyframe, and all I'm going to do is put it back to normal. So the position was 640, and this position uh, for this was 360. And then of course we also need to change the scale, but before we change the scale, what you want to do is come back to the last keyframe, and make sure this is checked right here, the animation. And you also want to come to the start and add a keyframe here by pressing this button. Then we're going to come to the end keyframe right here, so it's on line with this one. And we're going to change the scale back to 100. So everything goes back to normal, like that. So let's play this through. I'll put five keyframe spaces. This may be too much because the clip is so short, but let's see what this looks like. As you can see, that is what we'll get. Um, you did see there are some black bars at the end or during it, just there, as you can see. That's probably because I went up too high. But that's how you make a screen shake in Premium Pro. So one more time, just play this through. To make it more violent, you can scale it in more and then you can move the keyframe around more or you can just put the keyframes closer together so you have more keyframes in the end. Remember, the more keyframes you have, the more time it'll take, but it'll probably look better as well. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.